Hey YouTube, it's Matches 860 and Sergeant Savinelli. Two guys here. Gonna be smoking some Edgeworth Slice today. Yes, we are. And I gotta thank Doug Owen out at Cargo Hold, Paul's Bow, Washington, for sending this to us. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Doug. And uh, you want to do the honors? Absolutely. You're always good opening these things. Remember that damn tub last <laughs> time? Kicked my ass almost. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's and not... we're guessing this is from the 1970s since they uh, stopped production of this sometime in the 70s. I don't recall the year. I don't know if I have that on my phone or not. I don't know if I'm going to be able to read my phone. Uh, it was introduced in 1903. It's Tennessee and Kentucky, White Burley and Virginia in a flake. According to tobacco reviews, there's no flavoring added. It's just a flake. We'll find out very shortly, I think. Now, I got a comment on uh, the original video I did where I smoked this. I think I was at Suburban Park. Somebody asked me uh, how this is packaged. And I told them by mistake that it was uh, wrapped in wax paper. It's not wax paper, it's like a heavier gauge cellophane that I think has been uh, like heat shrunk or heat sealed. Hey, look at that. Oh, yeah. Yep. Plastic. Really? And anyway, the uh, comment was wondering how this could possibly still be moist after all those years. And not only is that tin really tough to open, but uh, the plastic is sealed very well. And it's heavy plastic. Very heavy. Very heavy. And I can't wait to smell this. Raisin brand. Raisin. For a figs, raisin, yeah. Yep. I was just going to say. Yep. Reminded me immediately of the, the Greek fig wheels that you get for the holidays. Yeah, yeah. Raisin brand. Boy, I hope this doesn't do to us what raisin brand does. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll we'll be shutting be, that camera run, off. Yeah, we're no. running for the, yeah. You got a thought for a day? Thought for the day there, Sarge? I already posted one this morning. Um, I do have a thought, another thought for the day. Here's a freebie for the day, a little little twofer. A surefire way to remember your wife's birthday forever? Forget it once. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. These are Beautiful. Look. Yeah, they just don't make it like this anymore. No. I mean, look at the consistency of this stuff. Beef jerky. I don't know if you can, Exactly. It looks just like beef jerky. It's phenomenal. Nice and thin and moist to the touch. Very moist to the touch. Look at that. Yep. Right? Oh, does that smell good. Yeah. It smells like figs. It really does. I'm going to borrow this so I can rub it out. You rub it out. I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way and just smoosh it in there. I figure it'll burn either way. Yep. Just bust this up a little bit. Yes, sir. We've been looking forward to this. For a long time now. Well, I knew we were going to hear from Doug after the uh, Kentucky Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Almost immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
almost immediately. Telegram from Doug Owen. <laughs> Read something like, Edgeward sliced. Stop. Coming your way. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Cheers, everybody. Hey, that worked out perfect here. It's just the bowl's worth. Perfect. Too I do think I'm ready to light. Yeah, let's go. You can get this thing back in here without too much hassle. Look at that. You're going to love this. Oh. What a nice, clean, burly flavor, huh? Mm. So I got to tell you the story about... Uh, when I first had this in that custom build, mm, right. I hadn't done my homework and I just assumed that Edgeworth sliced was going to taste like Edgeworth ready rub. Not even close. No flavorings, as I mentioned. Mm -hmm. This is just good, good tobacco flavor. Kind of reminds me of Salani Age Burley Flake. Couldn't tell you, never had it. Um, Wessex? Wessex, yeah. Similar. A long time since I smoked that. Just very wholesome, you know, you're not getting any chemicals or anything. No, none at all. No toppings, no. I mean, it's just, it's. And it's fairly cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm not getting any bite at all. Of course, it's just the beginning. We'll see. Yeah, so I was all messed up when I did that video because I'm sitting there not knowing if I was supposed to taste something or not. And I've watched uh, some videos since people doing reviews of this. And uh, there was one guy who... He kept talking about molasses and chocolate, mm -hmm. which, you know, you might get a little pop of that burly chocolate that you get sometimes, but... Cocoa. Yeah. I don't know about the molasses. There's a deep... I get a deep tone off of this, but I don't know what, exactly what it is or how to describe it. It's... I get a real full molasses and cocoa if I blow it through my nose. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, more so than more so than just just sipping at it. Burns really well too. Burns really nice. Getting it? Yeah. I gotta say, not so much molasses, but honey. And you know that 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 roof of your mouth feel when you take like a teaspoon of honey? Mm hmm That smooth, silky. Yeah. I'm, ge I'm getting that too with that that hint of honey. It does. It, that's what I'm getting. I'm not getting molasses. I'm getting honey. Honey and, and cocoa. I'm still getting that that lower, you know, straight burly, you get kind of a higher note, and I'm getting this combination. It's just, it's fantastic. Yeah, I'm not, see, I'm not getting any of the nuttiness that you usually associate with burly. Mm -hmm. But honey and cocoa, for sure. This thing makes me want to go spread some honey on a chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> you got your honey on my chocolate. You got your chocolate in my honey commercial in here somewhere. 
Somehow I don't think I could do chocolate after that bagel. Mm. Weren't they good? Mm, very good. Definitely honey and chocolate. Yeah, I'll have to agree with you. That's what's good about smoking this with somebody else, because at least you can kind of, you know, you're sort of leading me down the unknown path that I can't figure out. Well, it's good to bounce it off each other, because that way you can, something that you maybe don't catch Time for a tamp. Warm it up a little bit. What an amazing flavor. See, this is like what we were talking about before. Back in the day, people cared about what they made and, and yes. how they made it. Yep. And there was that certain flavor. I don't know. I, as a kid, I remember, you know, smelling the aroma from somebody's pipe. Mm -hmm. And you could almost taste it yourself. Yeah. You know? When I became old enough to smoke a pipe, I got that for a short period of time, but then little by little, all of this stuff disappeared. Yeah, yeah. And the stuff that replaced it, I, I don't think is anywhere near, because, and don't get me wrong, I like the Lane Limited Ready Rub. Mm -hmm, it's, me a, too. it's a delicious burley. Yep. But it is not Edgeworth. It's not. No. Nope. Not Edgeworth sliced, anyway. I wonder if it's comparable to the original Edgeworth Ready Rub. That I don't know. I couldn't tell you either because I've never I've never had the original Edgeworth. I'm sure somebody will let us know. Feel free to post if you know. Yeah, I still have plenty uh, left over from the tin I had that I jarred and I had a couple of bowls this week. All of this? Yep. Trying to figure out uh, exactly what I was going to say, but uh, you certainly helped me out. I think this is one of those tobaccos that really, really speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. You know, some of the stuff that we smoke today kind of I don't know, it's, it, it's almost like you got to try to figure it out, you know. I made the joke about unicorn farts in a few few videos back there. <laughs> when, we were, when we were farting around with that, uh, that mixture 500 there from L.J. Peretti. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it, it's weird because we can, pull, we can pull almost every flavor out of this blend by just sitting here and... and Letting your normal taste buds tell you what's in there. Yep. You know? Yep. A lot of the stuff today, you can't. You can't. And I don't know if that's because of the toppings. I don't know if that's because of the chemicals that they put in there or, or what it is. I mean, good tobaccos. We've had, you know, great tobaccos. But still, some of them are, some of them leave you kind of wondering what the hell was in there. Yeah. You know, yep. at the end of the bowl. Mm -hmm. This one here, you know, you, you know it from the first light. And so far, I've got consistency. I haven't had any changes. Yeah, very right? consistent. And that was the one thing I noticed uh, in my two bowls this past week, is that uh, nothing changes mm -mm. from the start to the finish. And I would imagine this thing leaves nothing but dry ash at the bottom, right? No goop? No goop. Oh, that tells you right there there's nothing. there's nothing in there to candy it up.
1903. Can't you picture some old goat smoking this? Oh, yeah. I could picture myself smoking this in 1903. <laughs> Savinelli saxophone. It's a happy pipe today. Friday Savinelli. Same, uh, same stem. Same scheme. Same scheme too. You got the, the little bit of a red showing through there as well, or no? That's a, yeah, that was yeah. a Roma. That was an yeah. old Roma. Yeah. Yeah, my yeah. Uh, rim is pretty charred there. Yeah. A little spit on the rim takes that. Takes that right off. I notice some of the red, some of the red poking through as this thing heats up time after time. I was just thinking that it's time for me to clean this thing with some Murphy's oil soap because my uh, I try to keep my hands clean but you can see this kind of a buildup of garbage there mm -hmm. I don't know maybe I'll keep it who knows so we got some other stuff coming up we what do. do we you tell us what we're doing well what we are going to do today because this is on my channel yep Immediately following this, we're putting in double time today, John and I. Hopefully, they're going to uh, pay us time and a half for the. <laughs> no, huh? Free food. Free food. So, what we've decided to do is give you a double whammy today. Be a little bit of a treat. Kind of a two for Tuesday on a Friday. Right? Yeah, that should have been your quote for the day. What's that, two for Tuesday on a Friday? Yeah. I just thought of it. Listen, I have no control over when this stuff pops into my head. <clears throat> so what we are going to do is, right after this, we're going to set up my equipment, and we're going to do a review of L.J. Peretti's Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. So be sure to stay tuned. And somewhere down the road, thanks to Corn Cob Piper, Two guys will be reviewing uh, McBaron's Burley London Blend. Yeah, boy. And I can't wait for that one because that's one of my all-time favorites. And did you say you never had it? Never had it. Oh, you're going to love this stuff. I may have to break out the Sherlock Holmes pipe and hat for that one. London Blend? There you go. <laughs> hey 221B Baker Street. So keep your eye out for that, folks. Matches 860... And Sergeant Savinelli, wishing you a great weekend. Have a good one. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.